Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Mississippi mud pie. It has a chocolate cookie crust, a brownie layer, a chocolate pastry cream layer, whipped cream, and decorated with shaved chocolate. It is so delicious. So let's get started. First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We'll make the chocolate cookie crust. You can use any crisp chocolate cookies you like. I'm using Oreos. So just add them into a large plastic bag. Press out the excess air. And seal the bag. Then crush them using a rolling pin until it forms fine crumbs. Add the crumbs into a medium mixing bowl. Add in the melted butter and mix them until they're well combined. Pour the crumbs into a 10 inch pie pan. Spread them out evenly and press them in firmly so it holds together. Then bake it in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes until it's set. When it's done, remove it from the oven and set it aside to cool. Turn the oven temperature down to 325 degrees. Then to make the brownie layer, in a small or medium bowl, add in the cocoa powder flour, and salt. Whisk them until they're combined and set it aside for now. Then into a large bowl, add in the melted butter, sugar, and brown sugar. If you don't have brown sugar, you can use all white and beat them with a whisk until they're well combined. Feel the mixture. If it's quite hot, so let it cool down before proceeding with the recipe. Add in the eggs and vanilla extract and beat them in until well combined and the mixture lightens in color. Add in the dry ingredients and mix them together just until combined. Add the brownie batter and dollops into the pan on top of the crust. Then spread it out gently, trying not to break the cookie crust. Then bake it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until it's set around the edges but still slightly soft in the middle. It will set up as it cools so you don't want to over bake it. When it's done, remove it from the oven and set it aside to cool completely. To make the chocolate pastry cream, in a small or medium bowl, Add in the sugar, cornstarch, and salt, and whisk them until they're combined. Then add in the egg yolks, and beat them with a whisk until well combined and turns pale in color. Set it aside for now. Then into a large saucepan, add in the whole milk or half and half, and heat it on the stove over medium heat until it starts to come to a boil. While it's heating, chop up the dark chocolate into small pieces, and set it aside so you have it ready for when you need it later. 
When the milk on the stove starts to boil, remove it from the heat. Add a small amount of it into the egg and sugar mixture and whisk to combine. Then add in the rest a little at a time, whisking after each addition. Pour it into the saucepan and place it back onto the stove over medium heat and heat it until it boils and thickens, whisking it the whole time so you don't get lumps. Once it's thick, keep whisking it over the heat for another minute to cook out all the cornstarch so it doesn't have a floury taste to it. Then remove it from the heat. Add in the chopped chocolates from earlier. And vanilla extract. And mix it until the chocolate is melted into the mixture. Pour the chocolate pastry cream into the pan on top of the brownie layer. Spread it out so it's even. Cover the top in plastic wrap, making sure it's touching the whole surface of the pastry cream so it doesn't form a skin. And place it into the fridge for at least four hours or overnight until it's chilled and firm. To make the whipped cream, in a small or medium bowl, add in the cold heavy cream, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract and whip it with an electric mixer until it's stiff but try not to over whip it. Remove the chilled pie from the fridge. Pour the whipped cream on top of it and spread it out evenly. Then use a vegetable peeler to shape some chocolate on top of it. And it can be served whenever you like. If you're not serving it immediately, keep it wrapped in plastic wrap and stored in the fridge until serving. And that's how to make a Mississippi mud pie. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give this video a like, and check out my channel for many more videos, and subscribe to my channel for more to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.